Hello everybody, I wanted to talk you through my New Year's Get Ready With Me. Here I'm applying my simple light hydrating moisturiser and then I'm onto my hair and I'm using the Body Shop Rainforest Radiance Detangling Spray. And then I was just putting some mousse in which is the Tresemme Volume and Lift Mousse. And then after this I was spraying in my heat protectant spray which is the Lee Stafford one which I'm not overly that keen on to be honest. And then I'm putting in some of Phil Smith Big Me Up Thickening Volume Cream and then I'm just drying my hair. You won't see me blow dry my hair because I don't have the coordination to blow dry it. I just can't seem to get the coordination with the brush and the hair dryer. So I just basically dry it how you saw me drying it. Then I'm moving on to my makeup and here I'm putting on the Body Shop All-in-One Insta Blur which I have got a review on so I'll put that in the annotations at the top and then I am applying my all-in-one insta blur for the under eyes which is like a tinted concealer and primer so just putting that on both eyes and then I'm using the Urban Decay primer potion which everyone knows about then I'm using the MAC Bare Study paint pot I just sped this bit up because it can go on for ages just watching me put on my eyeshadow and then you can see I'm so happy to have my Urban Decay Naked palette back. I did take this to Australia with me, but I ended up sending it home because it was quite big. So I'm just applying the Half Baked over the Bare Study Paint Pot. And then in the crease, I am putting in the Dark Horse eyeshadow as well. And just blending that out using an e.l.f. brush, which is really cheap. And I don't think you can get them in the UK anymore. Or am I mistaken by that? I'm sure I read somewhere that Elf isn't being sold in the UK anymore, but I don't know. And then I'm just blending it out with another Elf brush. And then just as a highlighter underneath the eyebrows, I'm using the colour Virgin. Just to give my eyes a little bit of oomph and kind of lighten them up a little bit. Then I'm using my concealer, which is one I got in Australia, which is called Nude by Nature, and it's a liquid mineral concealer. I have really bad dark circle under my eyes all the time, so I'm just applying some under there to try and conceal that a little bit. And then I'm using a new foundation that I got, and it's the Urban Decay All Nighter Liquid Foundation. And I love this foundation. I've used it a couple of times, and really really like it so I will be doing a full review on this it is a full coverage foundation and I'm just blending that out with a beauty blender then as my powder I am using the hourglass ambient diffused light powder I really like this as well so I'm just putting that all over my face and then I realized I forgot to use the Touche Clart underneath my eyes so I'm just going in putting that back on and this is obviously by YSL I'm sure everyone's heard of that it's quite an old product that's been out for a long time and again just putting some setting powder on that as well then I'm just putting on some bronzer which I use the body shop this is colour number two and I'm nearly finished with this it's all broken into little pieces where I dropped it so I'm nearly done with this. And you can see I'm just using that to contour my cheekbones and also under my chin and then just round my hairline to add a bit of colour back into my face. Then I'm using my blush which is by MAC and it is called Hypnis. And this was from, I can't remember the collection it's from but it's the one with the seashell on. Was it the Splash Collection or something it was called? It was a long time ago. Or By the Beach. Now, Splash seems to ring a bell, but I don't know whether that is what it was called. I will link everything in the description box that I have used, so you can see, but I don't know if you can still get hold of that anymore. Then I'm just putting on some highlighter, and I'm using the Soap and Glory Glow All Out. I don't know if this has got a colour. No, it's just the Glow All Out. Then I'm doing my eyeliner, and... For this I'm using the Super Cat by Soap and Glory. I really like this eyeliner. I'm not very good at eyeliner but I seem to be able to do this one. Then the mascara that I'm using is the Urban Decay Perversion in 
this is black is it is it just called black yeah bigger blacker and badder it says and then that's a really awkward close-up of me so you can see my eyeshadow and my mascara then i'm just doing bottom lashes with a mascara i've had for a long time now i don't even know who it's by what it was or anything because everything's worn off of the packaging it's quite dried up but i like to use that for my bottom lashes and then i'm going in to do my eyebrows and i'm using the hd brows um palette that i got in one of my beauty boxes a long time ago and the color that i always use is medium blonde and that's the one that i'm using at the moment and then just to set my brows i'm using a clear like mascara from number seven i don't know if it's got any special name because that's all rubbed off as well then i am spraying on the urban decay d slick makeup setting spray which i is oil control and i'm completely converted to this one then I am just straightening my hair, trying to get a little bit of volume in it if I can. I don't really do much else in my hair. I either straighten it or tie it up. That's as much as I can do with my hair. I'm not very creative when it comes to hair. So I just basically section my hair off, straighten it. I can curl it a little bit, but I never find that the curls stay in my hair. So I don't know if I'm doing something wrong that they don't seem to stay. But I'm not very good at even curling it, to be honest. So... Then I just go back over my hair once it's all straightened and make sure it's straight properly and that I have lots of flyaways and they're all straightened down as well so they don't stick up. And then I just make sure that I'm happy with how I've styled it and that all my little flyaway bits are down and not flying away everywhere or sticking out. Then into the roots, I'm putting in a new product that I brought from Superdrug which is a volume plumping powder you just pop it into your hand and then rub it into the roots like I just did um don't know if it works that great to be honest but if it gives me a tiny bit of volume then perfect then the hairspray I'm just using is the Phil Smith Be Gorgeous and this is the firm hold because my hair never seems to stay so I use firm hold just to try and get it to stay straight and to keep my fringe in place and that's some little clip of some awkward dancing and some awkward close-ups. And that was it. I hope everyone had a great New Year's. And that was my outfit. And thank you for watching. And I'll see you in my next video.